Hungarian Grand Prix just outside Budapest, 70 laps of a 4.4 km circuit, very tight and twisty, lots of slow speed corners, dominated by slow speed understeer, so it's one of those tracks where you spend all weekend dialing out slow speed understeer and, and entry instability. The driver must be very concentrated because it's, it's very, very tough, very difficult for the driver, difficult uh, for the car too, because the car is always jumping because of the bumps and the high curbs. In sector two, they're all corners. And you, if you get the first corner wrong, they're all wrong. It's just a sequence of, uh, of corners. And uh, even if you realize that uh, he got it wrong, he cannot, it's very difficult to recover. The track's normally not used for other racing very often during the year, so it's very dirty. It doesn't have the contaminants like a street circuit, but it has a lot of dust and dirt that cleans up through the weekend. Normally we get there and it's very hot. If the tires are, they don't work very well, it's uh, very difficult. You need uh, mechanical grip, you need a uh, lot of uh, downforce. You could ride over the curbs. One of the most important moments is uh, the strategy during the pit, pit stop and uh, new tires because when you have new tires and you can use the curves, you can win quite a lot of time. 